Dear Cupcake, how much life insurance should I have? Living life in Los Angeles. Hey there, future policy holders. Cupcake here, your not-so-ordinary financial guru with the most unorthodox advice you'll ever find. Today's question comes from a very concerned reader who asks, How much life insurance should I have? Well, buckle up and crank up that heavy metal, because we're about to take a wild ride through the pastures of life insurance. First things first, let's get one thing straight. Life insurance is like a backstage pass to the greatest concert ever. You don't want just any ticket. You want the VIP experience. So let's break it down. Number one, calculate your value. Start by figuring out how much you're worth. Not in that existential what is the meaning of life kind of way, but in cold hard cash. Think of yourself as a rock star. If you were an album, how many copies would you sell? And are you more of a platinum artist or a one-hit wonder? Add up your salary, any debts, future expenses like college for the kiddos, and throw in a bit extra for the grand farewell party. I mean, who doesn't want a Viking funeral, right? 2. Multiply by infinity. Now, most experts will tell you to multiply your annual income by 10 to 15 times. But where's the fun in that? Here at Moolah Madness, we say go big or go home. Multiply by infinity. Okay, maybe not infinity, but why stop at 15 times? Aim for 20, 30, or even 50 times your income. You want your loved ones to be rolling in dough, not just making ends meet. 3. Include extravagant extras. Don't forget to include some extravagant extras. Always wanted the bronze statue of yourself in the local park? How about funding a worldwide tour of your favorite heavy metal band in your honor? Make sure your life insurance covers all those dreams and then some. This is your chance to go out with a bang, literally and metaphorically. 4. The Cat Claws If you're like me and have a furry friend, you'll want to include a special clause for them. Mr. Fluffy Puss is going to need a lifetime supply of gourmet cat food, diamond studded collars, and perhaps a cat mansion. Factor in all these luxuries to ensure your pet lives a life of opulence. 5. Leave room for surprise expenses. Life and death can throw some curveballs. Leave room for surprise expenses. Maybe your family will want to hire a hologram of you to keep your memory alive, or perhaps they'll need to buy an island to scatter your ashes. Whatever it is, Make sure there's a financial cushion for the unexpected. In conclusion, when it comes to life insurance, more is more. You want to leave behind a legacy that screams, I live life to the fullest, and then some. So go ahead, get the whopping policy that will make your beneficiaries feel like they won a lottery. Because, in a way, they did. Remember, folks, I am not a licensed financial advisor, just a cow who loves heavy metal and won the lottery. Take my advice with a grain of salt, or perhaps a whole salt lake. Stay grazing and amazing. Do you have a financial question for Cupcake to try and answer? Email us your suggestion at beastlybantablog at gmail.com.